You ever get into the final stages of a project and then you just realize you spent so much time fine-tuning it? Just putting all this effort into like the last little bit of it to realize either it didn't matter or if you were showing it to people, no one noticed it. It's always devastating and hurts so much when you do that. And that's kind of what I did with the character model you're seeing on screen of Dry Bowser. I spent so much time on all this shading, on trying to find the perfect color for the bones, on just trying to find all this stuff to make it look amazing. And I realized after watching a video from another YouTuber, I can't remember the name of it, but I'm going to flash it on screen right now, that I wasted so much time doing that because the shading I used and everything I did, I could have just simplified it. Now don't get me wrong, if you have like a full-fledged project you're working on with like a big group of people, you have like a big budget and you can hire the people to do the detail, by all means, little details are appreciated. If you've ever played the game Skyrim or watched some big budget movie of some kind, there's usually something going on in the background that if you go back and watch it again, you can appreciate the detail of just how little like things going on in the background or even just in Skyrim, you can look at a log and see literal ants moving. That is effort right there in detail. That can be appreciated and it has its place, but it does not for a single animator working on his own or her own even. When you're just making stuff, unless it's like a detailed picture or you're doing the project that you're going to get paid for some commission or something, it doesn't make sense just to work for a literal month detailing just one part of a drawing just for a few frames or even a scene. Again, unless you're using it for your portfolio and you're just trying to expand upon it. I was not using Dry Bowser for my portfolio, I was doing him for just a funny animation and I just got way too detailed with it. I'm probably going to simplify it for when I do the other angles and inevitably simplify the angle I already made. You're also at the point where you just do too much detail on a project of like shading or just like some kind of facial or hair details that it just destroys the original image and it would look better with just the kind of minimalist design. I've done this numerous times with some of my early design characters before I was even making videos. I do it with hair, I do it with kind of like skin, like special skin scales on like a lizard or something. Instead of simplifying it or doing like a simple texture, I would complicate it and add so much detail to it that when I finally decided to animate it and try to make it move and look good, it would just get distorted and not look as good because it was only made for that one angle. I probably could make it look better now if I tried again, but I don't want to do that because I'm just one guy and I don't want to spend a whole year making a character just super detailed and then be disappointed when it doesn't work. I did that probably five or six times when just starting out. I made like three different characters over the course of like three years and all of them I've just discarded at this point. Not because they didn't teach me anything, but because they were so ugly by the end of it. I don't know why I spent so much time on them. I learned a lot when I made them and it inspired me to get into kind of making some of these videos, but it was just such a waste of time and such a waste of energy just to make those characters as detailed as I did. In my kind of closing thoughts here, I was trying to come up with kind of like advice I could give you on just any kind of drawing you're working on going over detail. But I couldn't think of anything is the honest truth because honestly you have to see the drawing to be able to know what's wrong with it normally. So I'd get like a trusted friend, maybe a family member, or just anyone you trust that you could show your work to and ask them about it. See if they even comment on the thing you spent hours on. If they don't even notice it, then it definitely wasn't worth it. Now, sometimes you have to have a side-by-side -side comparison for like a, hey, do you see the difference between these two drawings? Maybe they'll see it, maybe they won't. But at the same time, unless that detail's there for a reason, it doesn't really fit if you just spent a ton of effort on it. But it does help to get friends or even family to look at your stuff and tell you, is this good or is this bad? I recently had a friend of mine actually go through a lot of my videos and he told me just straight up, yo, a lot of these are cringy. I do agree with him a little bit, but honestly hearing it did kind of help me realize just kind of what about my videos was cringy. So I really am trying to improve that. Honestly, I just can't flip a switch and all of a sudden become non-cringy, but I am trying to grow a little better in my channel and my knowledge of YouTube so I can hopefully one day get to the level where I'm more entertaining and more like genuine in everything I'm doing and less cringy because I don't want to be just like a stereotypical cringy YouTuber. There are enough of those on this platform. I would like to hear what you guys think of my videos. I ask this at the end of every video and I know every YouTuber does, but I'm so new at this and just so out of my element. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Destruction!